Hello everybody, this is Stephen Whitfield with Drilling Contractor here at the 2024 IADC SPE International Drilling Conference and Exhibition in Galveston, Texas. And with me right now is, man, it's a pleasure to have him out here, Fred Dupree of Texas A&M University. He gave a presentation on a paper that he co-authored on performance gains that have been seen at a geothermal project, the Utah Forge Laboratory. Uh, we have more reporting on the Utah Forge Laboratory and the work being done there. You can click on the link below to see more about that. But we're gonna talk to him a little bit about some of the gains that they saw um, and a little bit about physics-based limiter design that's sort of at the heart of all this. So. Fred, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you, Stephen. So let's start by just explaining physics-based limiter design. It's sort of at the center of some of the work that you guys are doing. Can you explain kind of what it is and sort of how does it help address some of the downhole challenges that we see? It's essentially uh, an approach to performance, changing performance, not sustaining it, but looking at what limits you and then redesigning that until something else does. Uh, the concept is very simple. If I'm, my weight on bit is in weight on bit creates ROP. If it's limited, why it's limiting it. What's required though in it is not that you experiment with something new, but that you understand physically the thing that's limiting you, and that's why we call it physics-based. So it's very deterministic rather than, say, stochastic. You figure out what is limiting you, you redesign that, and now you can apply more weight on bit, and more weight on bit makes you drill faster or it might be hole cleaning, or it might be some other feature of your operation that's limiting your performance. So the paper kind of goes into several um, gains that you saw on a well that was drilled um, at the Forge Laboratory. And we'll go over a couple of them here that you discussed in your presentation. One of them that you mentioned is sort of uh, the challenge of, of drilling a smooth hole with a bent motor. Can you tell us a little bit about <laughs> what you kind of saw there and, and how'd you enable that? Well, it was, it was really uh, a great experience a great sort of um, new work way of looking at it, but a bent motor literally has a bend in it and, it and it steers by pointing the bit in one direction. It puts kinks in your hole and other kinds of patterns. In the Forge EGS, geothermal, we have to run packers and it just has to be a perfectly smooth hole for the kinds of completions they're expecting in that new industry. So we did not have smooth hull before. What we've done is to figure out how to get the same bent motor to drill very smoothly again by understanding the physics of how, why it was not drilling a smooth hole and then you re-engineer uh, that to eliminate those features. Now you have smooth hole. So it's a very simple, still a limiter redesign concept, but the heart of it is understanding some physics that you did not know before and then turning that into an operational practice with people at the rig site. So another thing that you guys were seeing in some of the previous wells that you had drilled was sort of a, a large decline in ROP in the early footage. And in the presentation in the paper, you kind of go into sort of how you address that on this well in question. So, so what happened there? How'd you work on that? Well, you know, it's, it's similar in that we make assumptions about how things physically work. And a bit wear, well, and that decline in ROP is simply due to a small amount of bit wear if you were to look at that bit, you'd say that shouldn't be drilling that slowly. But if you physically understand how that's interacting with the rock, you understand that even that small amount of wear has an enormous impact. And that's what we're seeing. We would start at 250 feet an hour. We'd be down to 100 feet an hour in less than one or 200 feet, and we need to drill thousands of feet. So what we found we could do was actually increase the weight on bit and make the bit more aggressive so that its cutters are indented more. And so it's the sliding distance that wears it. If I have more cutter indentation as I slide, the same sliding distance drills more footage. You know, this is counterintuitive. You know, oh, more weight will wear your bit faster or more aggressive bit will wear faster. No, it wears a lot slower, drills a lot more footage at a higher ROP and doesn't wear as much as a tougher, stronger looking bit because we're in granite. So, well, Fred, thank you so much for uh, giving us some of this insight onto what's going on in Forge. Uh, we really do appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Okay, thank you, Stephen. Thank you. And thank you for visiting Drilling Contractor.